Hi, I'm Lassie and I'm teaching people in metal shaping and I'm going to give you some more tips and tricks here on the YouTube channel. And uh, on this little video clip I'm going to show you what we can use the bead roller for more than just put beads on. And uh, I'm going to give you a quick sample here what we can use it for. Sometimes when we're making a window frame like this, because this was a challenge for me for many years to, to make a window frame, door frame for a 33, 34, 3 window coupe from scratch. So what happened is when we bend something like this in inner curve, and when we bend an inner curve, an inner curve is always shorter. If you have watched other videos we have on YouTube, you know that when, when an inner curve is always shorter, and when we bend that, it, it's take the whole shape so it, it curves this way and we don't want that. We want this to be pretty s straight here for so we can make the next piece so it's flat to the window. So and in, in this case it's it's really difficult to to go in there with a deep uh, stretcher and stretch this area because the jaws are almost two inches wide and when we go in there and bend uh, stretch that in, in, the, in the curve it, it's going to destroy that. So I found out that we can use the bead roller and stretch the material in the bead roller. So here I have set up in the bead roller with a small one on the top and a bigger one on the bottom. Because of the ratio is different from the top shaft and the bottom shaft because the size of the, the, the dies here, it's going to be slippery a little, but it doesn't hurt the machine because we're only going to do it for some minutes and then we are done. It would, would be one thing if we're going to run it for hours or a whole day, but we don't do that. So <clears throat> I'm just going to show you a little, little sample here. So I can actually stretch in the bead roll and I, I put the dies there. Of course, this is already bent 90 degrees, but when, when I bend it in the bead roller and bent it almost 90 degrees and it, it's pretty sharp, doesn't have the radius here, then I can crank this to harder and harder down. Not too much, don't abuse the machine. And then what I can do is I can go back and I can go forth like this forward and I can actually crank it down a little more and more and more and I can actually stretch it in the bead roller. Of course I need to stretch it a little more on the edge and less less the further in I go. But you can actually stretch it in the bead roller uh, with running it back and forth. Of course, when I do something like that, it will, this will not be a radius, it will be pretty sharp. Then I have two other dies that I can use for this. And to fix this so it has a radius, I have a single die like that. And then I have a radius die like that. And I can use that. I can take this one here and take the other one on the inside. And I can run that after it's bent 90 degrees, I can put the radius into it. So this is pretty neat and it's little different ways to use the bead roller because I can stretch the metal in the bead roller. And this is something that I came up with the last couple of years that I actually start using the bead roller and stretch it. And it helps if you have it motorized, so it's a little harder with a hand cranked one to go back and forth and stretch it that way, especially when you crank it down a little harder. So that was the, another trick in the bead roller and I hope that will help you in the future, whatever you're going to do in metal shaping. Just to keep that in mind that you can use the bead roller for, for stretching. You can't shrink it, not so far. Maybe one day I can come up with that as well. So if you want more information, go to www.youtube.com slash Shaping.